I also think that's why so many people are skinny. They smoke instead of eat. I'm like, hey, you want a cake, si? And they're like, no, I have a cigarette. And I'm like, but a cake and a cigarette are not the same thing. Hi everyone, what is up? My name is Haley. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you did not know, no, you do. Hey you guys, what's up? In today's video, y'all, I am doing a requested video. Whoever was in my live stream and that asked me to do this video, you're welcome. Someone said to go over like a Reddit sub, I don't even know what Reddit is called, like the things, the categories, no, the forum, I don't know. The thing in Reddit basically going over things that Americans find weird about Europe or Europeans. I feel like this is going to be a bunch of Germans <laughs> or like Americans talking about Germany because I feel like the majority of Americans in, that travel to Europe either travel to like France, UK at the time, you know, before the whole Brexit thing, um, and maybe like Spain or Italy. Like those are the main ones that I feel like everyone travels to. Sorry, Austria. Sorry, Austria. So the first one says, probably the weirdest thing I noticed in most European countries is paying to use public restrooms. I found very few public restrooms that were free when I was there. I mean, hallelujah. I really get tired sometimes of having to pee in the woods. It happens often. Y'all think I'm kidding because at the end of the day, I don't have 25 cents. And then I feel bad if I go into a bathroom where there's like a person standing there asking you for a quarter. Well, not a quarter. What's the thing called? A 20 cent piece, a shilling. <laughs> I call every coin a shilling. No, but I feel really bad when I go into those restrooms and I have no change. So then I just go somewhere that has like a bush and then I pee there. There's no other options. Like there's literally no other option to pee anywhere. And then someone said homeless people need to pee too and they need healthcare too, my American friend. You know what? This is something that I dislike about Europeans is that when you criticize something, they'll automatically like criticize the United States. It's like you can criticize Europe, Germany, wherever you are without having to criticize um, the United States as well. We already know that the United States has issues, okay? We already know that the United States is a mm. up mm. country, but there are still things wrong with your country or your continent as well. Anytime I asked for plain water in a restaurant, I got an evil glare. Then I had to pay a euro for the smallest bottle of water ever. Why is anything, why is consuming anything but a fuzzy drink sacrilegious on that continent? Oh my gosh. Y'all, this is so true. I've complained about this and you will not believe I made a video tailored just to water and people attacked me and said, it's just a Munich thing that you don't get free water. I'm like, no, it's not. <laughs> Y'all are lying. I've been all over Europe and I've never received, well, let me not say never, because when I went to Spain and I went to Mallorca, almost every tiny restaurant that I went to gave us free water. But aside from that, everywhere that I've been at in Europe, you do not get free water. I will fight you if you wanna argue with this, like with me about this. And also with the sparkling water, it couldn't be me. You know, I've lived in Germany for years. It, it will be a decade one day, soon or later, um, but I will never get into the sparkling water freely without a gun to my head. No, <laughs> no, no, no. But I do mix it with juice. That's something that I really enjoy doing. That's something that I love. And that's something that I feel Germany, um, do Europeans do this? I feel Europeans have sparkly drinks because I've had Apfelschorle in um, Italy, Greece, and Spain. So yeah, I like fizzy, juicy drinks, but not fizzy water, gassy water by itself. Blech. Oh, look, I found one, you guys. You see everyone. I feel like the most people that complain about Europe are just complaining about Germany. I lived in Germany for a year, so some things might be exclusive to Germany. Some might be a general European thing. No air conditioning. I don't feel like that's um, just for Germany because I've been in other places in Europe that don't have air conditioning, but like places like Spain, I feel like all of the places I've been to in Spain have had air conditioning, at least in a bedroom or at least a very strong fan or even panel fans on or what are they called? The fans on the ceiling. I've never seen those in Germany ever, but in Spain, Greece, and all of those places that I've been to, I have because it's relatively hotter there and you need a little 
frische Luft and a breeze. No air conditioning really gets me in the summer. I'm glad that we live in the house that we live in now because in summer it gets relatively cool and we're not like those nasty, like you know that noise when two sweaty bodies are next to each other and it's not like a sexy sweaty, it's a disgusting sweaty and you like basically hate each other and then you like move and it goes it's like a nasty deli sandwich. <laughs> yeah, that's the only time I hate not having air conditioning. Other than that, I'm fine without it. Lack of small talk and more reserved. I feel like this is still a European thing. It could maybe be a German thing, but I feel like there are certain places that have the stereotype of being like more talkative and more social. But I feel like no matter where you go in Europe, people stick to their selves, themselves, and their groups. In the United States, everyone will mix with everyone, but in Germany and in Europe, I don't think that happens. The Spanish people might be a little bit louder. They might be a little bit more open to like certain things or certain people or certain, I guess, surroundings. But when it comes to being like less talkative and more reserved, Europeans as a whole are more refined. <laughs> Americans were just like, hey, let's have a party and be friends. How much people conform? This is actually a very good one. This is like a deep one, y'all. Uh, so I agree with this maybe i think europeans in general as well it's so funny because someone took a picture one time and she was making fun of someone she was in sweden i believe and she said you know you're in sweden when and then there was a picture of literally five guys that did not know each other that had on very similar outfits i feel like everyone tries to conform because nobody wants to stick out nobody wants to be like the weirdo that has more attention drawn to themselves and in the united states we like that. A lot of people are very selfish. They're very narcissistic. They want to be in the middle. They want everyone to talk about them. They want attention. Um, and that is what it is. Is it a good thing? Sometimes yes. Is it a bad thing? Sometimes also yes. I also think though that not expressing yourself openly and loudly can lead to you sometimes not being able to I don't know, have fun and be who you are, which I also find to be very sad. So if you're a German person that wants to express yourself, just know that Haley says do it, it's okay. Don't care what those rude ass Europeans think about you. I mean, y'all see me out here with my big old titties and my tight t-shirts and all that good stuff out here with my fake eyelashes sometimes. <laughs> the amount of people who smoke cigarettes. Yeah, this is a European thing, y'all. I swear to you, so the other day I was in, um, uh, what was it, X, 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 I always call it the porno store because whoever named something X, X, X really has no interest or should have no business, you know, doing business anywhere because that's such a horrible thing. But anywho, um, I was in the store and I was shopping for a pillowcase and then the guy that was working at the front counter, he yells over to his coworker that was by me, that was like a distance. Ich mache jetzt ein, uh, ich gehe mir, ich will was rauchen oder ich gehe rauchen oder what? I don't know what he said. Basically, he said he wanted to smoke and I was like, ew. And you're just announcing it to the world that you want to smoke? Oh. Usually in the United States, people smoke um, secretly. I, I, I've never met someone that openly says that they like smoking or that they go smoking or that they want to smoke. I mean, I know that there are people that smoke. I personally know them, but no one would like say at work, hey, Haley, can you take my place because I want to go smoke? They would just say, could take my place, I want to take a break, I need to go to the bathroom, and lie. I don't smoke, I don't find it to be nice, I don't find it to be enjoyable, I find it to sm sometimes smell good, but I just find it nasty. Um, but I also drink, so it's like one of those things where I do bad things, a lot of people don't like drinking, but they smoke and they don't understand how people can drink alcohol and um, kill their liver. And I'm just like, how could you kill your lungs? To each his own though, I'm not one of those people that says, you cannot smoke, but it is interesting that so many more people smoke in Europe. I also think that's why so many people are skinny. They smoke instead of eat. I'm like, hey, you want a cake? -si? And they're like, no, I have a cigarette. And I'm like, but a cake -si and a cigarette are not the same thing. Ice. Why are y'all so stingy with ice? I feel like once you've lived in Europe for a long time, you don't like ice anymore. And it's also one of those things that you realize I'm getting less of my drink but in the united states we have free refill so ice isn't that big of a deal and it's also like this difference between wanting something really cold 
and wanting something cold but closer to room temperature. So Americans, we like our stuff very cold, also our food to be very hot, um, all of these extremes. And in Europe, I feel like it's not really that. It's like more of a neutral, calm middle ground. Like, hey, we like our drinks to be cool, but they don't need to be ice cold. Um, hey, we like our food to be warm, but we don't need our food to be burning hot. There are some places like during hot months and summer, you will get ice, but a lot of places don't have ice machines. And I also think that in Europe, energy conservation is a big thing because energy is expensive and people don't wanna waste money. The next one, Speedos. But then again, I'm a northerner, so maybe they're more common in Southern United States. Somewhere and put they aren't <laughs> that is so true but the first time i went to like south beach or any major beach in florida there's like daytona south beach tampa a lot of floridians don't actually go to those beaches we go to other beaches because those are where all the tourists go i decided that i would go to south beach one day and y'all this was the first time i ever saw a speedo i called a nut sack <laughs> I call it a nut hugger, <laughs> a great pucker. Oh my gosh, y'all. I was shocked. I was bamboozled. I was just like, I could not imagine. I could not believe it. I thought it was a joke. And then like, I heard them speaking. It was a man and he went up to his wife and his wife had on like a little thong bathing suit as well. And I was like, oh my gosh, what the hell is happening? And then I heard them speaking and it was some type of foreign language. I have no idea where they were from. And this was many, many years ago. And I was just like, is this what they do on the other side of the pond? It's also because we're prudish in the United States, y'all. God forbid you show a little thigh. God forbid you show a little imprint. Jesus will come out of the clouds. Sky Daddy will come out of the clouds and strike us all down. No, but seriously, speedos aren't common. <laughs> The next one, I think this is gonna be the final one, you guys, because it's gonna be a really long video if I keep all of this stuff in, but the next one says, so I'm well aware that fights happen all the time in the United States over sporting events, but not like what I've seen in Europe. I honestly don't understand large mobs of people searching for other large, mo large mobs of people that support the opposing team, and then both large mobs of people beat the shit out of each other and destroy property in Germany. Like they will have specific leagues of foosball. Like it's it's soccer. Um, those are their, that's their sport of choice. In the United States, we have hockey that I feel like are more aggressive. We have football, like American football that I feel like are aggressive. But there will be these huge mobs of people outside of the arena, the stadium, you know, ready to just fight each other. And I don't understand, they're so passionate. I've never seen so many passionate people. And like when the team loses, you'll see one person say, screw you. And then you'll see someone throw a shoe, then someone throws a beer bottle, and then someone punches someone in the head. And then you see maybe a fire rocket or fire something go up in the air and you hear a lot of noise, then comes the police, then comes the SWAT team. You might have a little gas bomb thrown over here. And then you're just hearing people, whoa, oh, oh, oh. and you're like, what the hell? Where the hell? That's the only time that I've seen like, really crazy violence before in Germany. I went to a Kaiserslautern game. I don't know who they were playing against. I've been to a few of their games and I have never seen so many mobs of people fighting, um, wanting to be aggressive, wanting to kill the other person. And it was just crazy to me. Aside, I mean, mixed with alcohol and men with ego issues, what do you expect? Usually people are generally kind though, but as soon as you sprinkle in a little bit of foosball, you know, the knockout drag out, <laughs> I'm like, what the hell? So yeah, um, those are all of the reddits that I wanna read. There's 700 and something comments under here, so I could technically read more, y'all, but I don't wanna be here for hours, and I feel like we've gotten everything that we need to get out of this. I will do the European version of this, and hopefully this was fun. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I love y'all, have a wonderful day, and bye.